I saw a quote this morning that said, dress how you're gonna dress, but be clean. I think on a farm, that's impossible. I would say putting up hoop house days is definitely the hardest day on the farm for Jose and I's marriage. What do you think, Jose? They are going to uh, move the chicken outside so they are ready. <laughs> so Jose is going to till this so that we can create four new beds along here. This variety here is the Oroch which is doing very well. I'm very happy with it. This variety back here is the space, which is one of our favorites. But this side over there, like we need the cucumbers to start germinating and the summer squash, and they need it to get up around 60 to 70 degrees during the day and then stay maybe around 40 to 50 overnight. All right, it's turning out to be a pretty good afternoon. There's very little breeze, although it's starting, I'm starting to feel a little bit of one now, but we're gonna get this puppy done. I think it'll be okay, let me see. Yeah, Let's we're gonna check. check the weather. Yeah. Let's see, win, 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 no, not too bad. Okay. Seven. Okay, so we are gonna work, we're gonna get the big house done first, which is our big gothic style, 16 by 100 footer. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna come over here and get the smaller first one done. We're gonna actually move this second one and then the new one we're putting up, we're gonna move both of those to a new location because of the high tunnels coming this fall. We could leave them in place and just follow the garden plan we have, but then this fall, that's just extra work we're going to have to do when we want to get start getting the new one set. Plus, because we want to be planting crops in these in the fall, if they're here, mm -hmm. then we can't put the high tunnels up until we're done with those crops. And those crops don't get done till November, December. And yeah, then we would be putting up uh, high tunnels in the middle of winter, which we don't want to be doing. Yeah. So we're gonna just try and get some stuff moved early this year. Um, so we won't be putting plastic on those two until we can get uh, the new setup done. But maybe we can do that tomorrow in the morning yeah. or Thursday. All right, we'll see. we'll see. So let's get this done. We gotta get the, Jose already brought the plastic out for this first one. Mm -hmm. We're going to go get the plastic for the big guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and today is? Uh, the ninth. The ninth, wow. wow. I know. It's going fast. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Just do this again. Okay, hold on. One, two, three. <laughs> it's in! Yay! Okay, we need a ladder. I saw a quote this morning that said, dress how you're gonna dress, but be clean. I think on a farm, that's impossible. This is the first time we'll do this big guy without help. Yep. So we'll see how it goes. Jose and I are pretty efficient at getting the plastic up on these littler guys. So we're gonna see how it goes. We don't have the big ladder. We may have to run across the street and get theirs when we do these ends, but we'll try doing them without that to start. Okay, so one of the problems is we leave these uh, brackets at the bottom. Usually we pull them off in the fall because the carabiners that are on there get uh, rusty and then they get caught in the mud. It's like the roots of everything and the mud grows up around them and they're hard to get out of the ground. Uh, one of the things we've learned is a piece of uh, a pair of pliers works really well to get those brackets out of the ground. <laughs> get it? Um, so we're gonna work, we're gonna go around and make sure all of them are free before we get started because if the wind starts blowing we need to be very efficient. Uh, and if these aren't free, we're not going to be very efficient. So, all right, you ready? I'm ready. Bad side. It's always amazing to me after just barely being out of the snow how quickly the insects start appearing. Mmm, yummy. Ducks, you missed one. I brought us some liquid motivation. 
It's always more motivating. Uh, so Jose's gonna get up on the big ladder. We're just gonna put the wiggle wire on the ends here. Once the wiggle wire's on, it's a lot more secure, and then we're gonna do the rope, and then this one will be done for today. Yeah, and it needs to be a start with the other one. <laughs> So our goal is to put build solid end walls on these, but we're not going to do it on this one this year because this is where one of the high tunnels is going to go. So this is going to be a temporary structure until the peppers come out of it, which will be end of September. I would say putting up hoop house days is definitely the hardest day on the farm for Jose and I's marriage. What do you think, Jose? <laughs> Yeah, because sometimes I pull from one side and she pulls from the other side. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're on different pages. Um, and sometimes communication's not the best. But, but at the end of the day, we're a good team. Yeah. yeah, we work well together. So now we're going to do the rope. And so it's easy. We just start from the front corner here. The rope gets thrown over. I'm going to attach it at the bottom of the second post. And then Jose is going to skip every other one going down here. And I'm going to skip every one after the second one, every other one. And then we'll come back and get the opposite posts and finally attach it back at this corner. All right, we got the rope on. Now we just need to tighten it. This is the easy part. Yep. It's just a go down, skipping every other rope, tightening it. By the end, we usually have about 30 feet of rope. <laughs> and then that's it. This one's done. I don't think we're going to get to the second one tonight. We'll see what time it is when we're done. Yeah. But I think that's probably it for us. I would like to get the second one done tonight because I'm not going to be on farm tomorrow. But we'll see. All right, that's it. This one's up. We're still married. <laughs> okay, so today's the 10th? Yes. Yeah. All right, so is. it's uh, a nice morning. Not a little bit breezy, but not too bad. We're going to try to get the plastic on the second hoop mm -hmm. house. This one will go a lot faster. These, these ones, I think if you're working a small farm, are easier to do the plastic on than the, the gothic styles. Yeah. Uh, this one on this side is getting moved, so we're not doing anything with that. Jose's going to maybe dismantle it today. I've got an appointment in town that i got to go to. This guy is only going to be up until around June 1st, mm -hmm. and then we're going to attempt something that may be more work than it's worth. Mm -hmm. Jose's not a fan of my plan, but <laughs> what I want to do is because some of the crops we plant this early need protection. But then starting around June 1st, they don't need protection anymore. So what we want to do is, is move this hoop house from the crops that no longer need protection onto crops that we want to protect. So it's going to be work, but it won't be more than a couple of hours, I think. <laughs> um, so anyway, yeah, but this guy's getting moved because this is where a high tunnel is going to go is right in this area and then down over where that one is. So let's get this done All right. because I got to get to town. All right. Good morning. Um, today is Friday. Yeah, yeah, it's Friday. <laughs> it is Friday, and uh, 
Today I going to uh, move the chicken outside so they are ready. <laughs> I put in here last night. Oh wow, I forgot that. Uh, 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 uh. All right. Chicken, are you ready, chicken? Yeah, this is the um, the area when I will leave the chicken for a couple of days. I always put fence at the first time because they try to back to uh, to the barn. So uh, so they had to learn them for a couple of days. But then I take the uh, fence and they go <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> so yeah, for the first week they need to be uh, inside of the fence. Chicken on the other side. It is still morning, it's about um, 11.46 and uh, this morning I moved the chicken to the um, side to the field and I, now I'm going to uh, take apart all of these pieces because we want to move this. So this will be my little project for the rest of the uh, morning. So I think it will be it will take me about an hour, I think, or two hours, I don't know. We'll see. All right, let's go start it. I'm going to take a minute and show you what we've done here in the greenhouse because we have we've run out of space because somebody in here won't stop putting seeds in trays I blame Betsy for everything that happens on the farm uh, so over here we have put this is all of our spinach here that we just started right now we're starting 20 trays at a time uh, we didn't have enough trays though so we started 18 trays instead of 20 and then she's over here working on kohlrabi. So we have three trays of kohlrabi and then we're doing the first cucumbers and summer squash of the season. That's going on next. Uh, we are gonna seal up this half of the greenhouse probably starting today because we need to keep it warmer in here to be germinating uh, certain seeds like the broccoli and the bok choys. Uh, they would germinate without it, but they germinate a lot faster if it's warm. So that's next on the agenda and then I just want to show you a few things so these are all of our onion starts down the middle here and they need to get moved over to the other side pretty quick the problem is we don't have room <laughs> <laughs> which is a big problem uh, so we have some herbs started and then these are our green onions we have broccolis and cabbages and kale and swiss chard going on here and then our beets down here we put another shelf in here today because we need the space. Then we have green onions and look at this bok choy. 
It is unbelievably beautiful growing in here. And we need these raised beds for our trays, which is why we had to bring shelving in here, but I don't have the heart to pull these out of the ground yet until I can harvest them. So we have lettuces here, we have beets, and then we have more lettuce down there by Betsy. All right, and then over here, like this is where it's so beautiful in here, is look at these baby bok choys here. They are ready to be harvested. So we are gonna harvest them for some members on, for the weekend. So this then area will be cleared out because it's, you know, a one-time harvest on the bok choys. Then these are some very little baby cabbages that are just about ready they're getting close and then we have look at the spinach so this variety here is the auroch which is doing very well i'm very happy with it this variety back here is the space which is one of our favorites but you can see the difference in height and harvestability like these leaves are beautiful to be harvested this will not be ready to be harvested for a while so i think in the future uh, we've figured out which spinaches we'll be doing these are the spinaches that are getting ready to go out in the field, hopefully get planted this weekend. We have salad mix here that uh, isn't quite ready to be harvested, but it's getting close. Over here though are our kales and Swiss chard. They're ready, we'll be able to harvest them for members this weekend because they're looking really good. And then last but not least, we have kohlrabis right here that still have a couple more weeks and I don't have the heart to pull them until they're ready to harvest so they're gonna we're gonna just have to make it work in here yeah we will make it work and then these are broccolis and these beets are looking beautiful again you know all of this is several this is probably a month out I was just trying some stuff to see how it would work in here the beets are probably you know three weeks out boy are they pretty and then over here beautiful kale my favorite all right that's it for the greenhouse so jose is out working on the taking down the one hoop house that we want to take down i'm going to be out helping him we are going to set the rebar hopefully for both hoop house moves today uh, because then we can get the poles set and then he can work on um, getting the center uh, purlin put back in and the corner bracing All right, I'm going to finish helping Betsy first, though. We got some things we got to do. I have been working here, um, taking apart almost every single part. Now I'm going to take or lift the, uh, the hoops and then I, I will lay down on the ground. And then I think we'll um, move in somewhere down, somewhere over there. <laughs> All right. Okay, now I need somebody to uh, help me to, to move with this. Um, but first, I I will I will get some uh, sand back because tomorrow it's gonna be uh, windy, windy. So I need to protect the, the edge. Yeah, I need to put a couple sand back and each, uh, each side, maybe two, two of them. That's gonna be happening right now. <laughs> so we are out here now where we're gonna put the two hoop houses that mm -hmm. we're moving. Mm -hmm. So the problem we have, so we have our beds come in thir groups of 13 usually. This is going to screw that up a little bit, which I guess we're going to have to be okay with. <laughs> so what we have is a tractor path right here down the middle that we've used generally to run the tractor between the beds or out to the orchard. And that's going to have to go away for what we're proposing. Yeah. So Jose's going to till this so that we can create four new beds along here. And then the second uh, hoop house will go right in this area. Mm -hmm. 
It's not as flat as we would like it to be, but it's really the best other option for where to put these hoop houses, I think, for now. Yeah. Because that's our strawberry bed there. We have a row of asparagus, mm -hmm. and then we'll be one hoop house, two hoop houses. Mm -hmm. So we'll still be able to plant out the rest of this bed. The, the bad thing is I had the garden plan done for the year and this is going to change it. And so I get, when my plan gets disrupted, I'm a planner. When the plan gets disrupted, <laughs> I have an issue getting back on track. So I'm going to try to be okay with the plan being disrupted, um, but it will affect a few things. <laughs> so we're going to dig this up. We're going to end up eventually plowing up this, but I, we don't want to do it yet this year. No. Uh, but because that's where the other high tunnel, or yeah, one of the high tunnels will go, because the two high tunnels are going to go here. All four of the hoop houses were supposed to go over here next to this guy in a row, uh, but that's no longer going to be the plan. So this guy's going to stay and one other is going to stay for now, uh, but then they'll get moved later in the season. We just don't want to have to move all of them later in the season. Yeah. And we want to build end walls on there, which means we want to put them where they're going to go permanently. So, yeah. all right, so all Jose's right. gonna till this up and then I think I'm going to mulch uh, and put down some compost around the raspberries while you work on that. So he's gonna bring me some uh, compost first and I'll start composting them and then he'll bring me the mulch later. All right. All right. Thank you. Very windy today. Today is the 11th or the 12th? 12th, I think, or 13th. 12th. 12th. Uh, yeah, very windy, a little bit chilly, but not too bad no. outside. Uh, it was very rainy this morning. So we drove into town and we got uh, some OSB board for doing the walls mm -hmm. in the kitchen in there. And I'm not sure that's a long term plan, but it's temporary for the season to keep uh, everything enclosed. Mm -hmm. We just don't have time to do an actual finish or anything in there before the season gets started. We'll mm -hmm. have time next winter. So we're going to put up OSB board for now, um, give us some temporary walls, and we'll figure out if we want to change things after the season is over this year. Uh, but right now what we're doing is we have so many starts. Like, <laughs> there are starts everywhere, and the tomatoes and peppers have started germinating in the germination room, which means I need to create room in there uh, under the lights so mm -hmm. all of the lettuces and stuff need to come out here. Mm -hmm. But in order to get stuff to germinate out here, it needs to be warmer because it's just too chilly in here still, uh, especially with the overnight temperatures. Yeah. So what we're doing is this side doesn't need heat. All of these are cool season crops. They're fine if it's not very warm. But this side over there, like we need the cucumbers to start germinating and the summer squash and they needed to get up around 60 to 70 degrees during the day and then stay maybe around 40 to 50 overnight. Um, so we are just pulling this plastic down right here and uh, we have it set up so it's very easy for us to do that. We just fix this wiggle wire and um, close this up so that keeps it nice and warm on the other side and keeps this side cool, which we need it to stay cool over here so none of this goes uh, bolts or goes to seed on us. So I have a lot of reorganizing to do today after we get this wall pulled down. We're going to get this done and then I'll show you what I'm up to. <laughs> you got plans today? Nope. No. We have our neighbor's dog over here today. Mm -hmm. So Jose's baby dog babysitting. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, and we'll get the OSB pulled out of the back of the truck too in case it rains again. Yeah. All right, let's do this. All right, I just can't, I, like I need to get this out and I need to get that one out. Okay. Yay, planting season! <laughs> 